Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. In today's video, I'm gonna show you, explain to you how I get these IBC totes for cheap, really cheap. So stay tuned, I'll explain that all to you. In the meantime, I wanna get this unloaded from my truck. It's pretty cold out today. I do have some gloves here with me. I'm just working real quick here during my lunch hour to get these unloaded, and then we'll convert them into firewood totes in the future. If you watched a previous video or several videos, I showed hauling these home stacked two totes high. I didn't want to do that anymore. It does feel a little bit sketchy when you're driving. I always had them tied down really well, but it's a little scary. So I just got two instead of four. It is nice bringing four home at a time, but not only are they difficult to haul that way, with my little John Deere, they're difficult to pick because you've got to pick both up at the same time. I'll put a link to that video up above. First thing I'm gonna do is twist this one around. So I'm picking it from the wide side. when you have a machine it takes you a little bit to get it all figured out but this combination of the Curtis cab with heater and the Artillion pallet forks I use all the time really appreciate this time of year when it's getting colder out having the right equipment to do the job and even though yeah it would have been nice to haul four totes home all at once feels so much safer just dealing with one at a time rather than pulling down a stack of two. That was pretty scary when I did that before. I'm gonna set this off to the side here. said before one of the things I really like about these artillion forks is the visibility you can see right through them really easy to use them to pick stuff out of the back of the truck Okay, so we'll go ahead and get to what you've been waiting for here. What do I pay for these? I pay $10 a piece for these IBC totes. And I know that's quite a bit less than what a lot of people pay. So how did I find them? And how do I get them for this price? Well, it's not a place I work. I know some people were able to find these totes where they work. 
Uh, that's an awesome work benefit if you can find, uh, if you work somewhere that will let you have the totes after they use them. You do need a Torx bit to take this top rail off to get the bladder out. So where I find these, you know, I've watched several videos. I know Outdoors with the Morgans has places they get totes, Hometown Acre. Adam has shown where he gets his totes. Um, and there's a place I drive by every day on my way to work, a massive operation. Um, and what they make is mulch. So after watching Hometown Acres video about how, how the guy that makes mulch uses these totes, I thought, huh, this place I drive by is one of the largest in the country. They make more mulch than most other places. So I tried to call and here's where the persistence pays off. I called for months, could not get in touch with someone. I tried to explain, hey, I'm just looking for totes for some firewood, IBC totes. I don't need the bladders, but if they have the bladders, I'll take the bladders and get rid of them for you. I imagine you have a lot of these things laying around. It took a lot of contacts before someone finally got back to me or at least I got in touch with the right person. But once I did get in touch with the right person, he was like, hey, we've got thousands of these things. We don't sell them just because we're a busy operation making the mulch and stuff that we make. We don't want people coming in and out all the time trying to buy these totes. He said, but if you just want to come in every once in a while, pick them up in your truck. He said, I'll tell you who to talk to. So he explained to me which location to go to. There's multiple facilities that uh, make this mulch. So I went to the one that he said, and you know, it's, yeah, they're $10 a piece, which is a great price for these totes, and I really appreciate them letting me get them for our firewood storage. Um, but it's not an easy thing. It's not like you just go down the street and pay 10 bucks. You've got to go early in the morning before their normal shift starts. So I'm there before the sun's up. Um, it's a horrible muddy lane. You've got to usually use four-wheel drive to get in and out in the truck, and then you're waiting on them to load them. You've strapped them into the bed, and you're hauling them home. So round trip for me it's about an hour trip um, maybe a little bit more hour and 15 minutes to get in this case two totes so if you figure in my time the diesel in the truck they do cost more than ten dollars a piece but it's ten dollars cash for me to get two totes that i can make into firewood storage bins which as you know i love because it lets me move my firewood from place to place In case you were wondering, these are the big 330 gallon totes. So these are the tallest cages and the biggest bladders. So I really do appreciate the place I get these totes letting me come in and get them. Um, it helps me out and I can get in and out of there uh, before their workday starts so I'm not in their way. wanted to show you a couple differences in these totes. First of all, this one, see how when you take these support bars off, you can actually put them back on anywhere you want. I put them outside this rail, so it leaves some support for me. This tote, these bars have to go back in because they're drilled through the rail. Um, so they go in that spot. You don't have the ability to move them wherever you want but still works great for me. For firewood, I only cut out this section anyway. I keep my firewood entry hole a little bit smaller than what some other people do for their totes. Another difference is this tote has the plastic pallet on the bottom. This tote has plastic corners, but a metal pallet, you see how it gets dented up and dinged up. Still works fine for firewood. So if you're looking for a place to get totes, I suggest you look into a place that makes mulch. If you don't need the bladders and you don't mind, they're going to be they're going to be filthy black.
And if you do find a place that has the totes, but you can't get in touch with the right person, sometimes you just have to put a little time in. Keep calling back until you get the right person. So I've still got a little bit to do to make these into firewood totes, but I wanted to show you, explain to you how I got these two totes for $20 total. I think a great deal. Um, I've seen them go as high as $80 a piece. Typically around here they sell for $30 to $40 a piece for these big ones. Maybe a little bit less, $25 a piece or so for the small ones, but that price just keeps going up. So I'd say if you're looking for totes and you can find them today at a good price, I'd pick them up. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out at all or entertained you, give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button with the bell beside it so that you get notified when we put out new videos. And thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.